Hi, it's Des. And my mom just informed me that the doctor informed her that I have to go on a special diet for my health. And basically, um, I have to go on a diet that cuts out lots of foods that I love <laughs> and lots of foods that I don't really care about, but like, that's what we're focusing on right now. So basically, the main two things that I am most upset about not being able to eat is I am not able to eat wheat of, like at all, like no wheat, and I am not allowed to eat any potatoes. <laughs> As you guys may know, a baked potato is my favorite food. I can't have it anymore. I'm sad. Um, but um, with the wheat, that cuts out so much because that means I can't have any bread, I can't have any cake or anything, and that sucks. Um, no pizza, no burger, no cereal. I love cereal. I, and also no chocolate. Um, and also no black tea and also no spinach, which I know sounds stupid, but like I love spinach. I am Popeye so um, With that news, I'm going to make this video Documenting This diet um, So basically I have been experiencing some health problems and um with this specific health problem, it's not very common, so there's not much research on it, so there's no cure. That's amazing. Um, it usually like lasts for years, so that's amazing. And um, yeah, so the diet is just a test. We don't know if this is going to work, so I have to eat this diet for three to four weeks to see if it works, and if I'm not in pain anymore, I'm going to have to eat this diet for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm sad. Um, which I, I mean, <laughs> if it works and like I won't like live my life like every day in pain, which is cool, but it's like <laughs> everything that I love, I can't eat it anymore. And if you know me, I'm a very, like I'm a foodie, like when I'm sad, I eat food. When I'm happy, I eat food. Like I love food. I'm also a very picky eater, so... I hate everything anyways and so now not only do I have to be a picky eater but also not eat foods that yeah it's a long list but yeah I'm about to go eat right now and I'm gonna have my first meal not including any of the things that I am not allowed to eat so that's great so we're in the car say hi so how you doing? And we're about to go eat. So my first meal on this diet. Let's see how it goes. Ha ha ha. Ha. We're coming back from dinner. I had baked chicken and corn. Um. I mean, it was. It tasted good. While, while ordering the food, there was lots of foods that I wish I could eat that I couldn't. But that's okay. This is my breakfast. Eggs and some sausage, which is cool. Let me show you what I want to eat. So this is what I want to eat, but I can't have it anymore, so that's cool. So I'm gonna have eggs and sausage for breakfast. Also, my mom found some pasta that I can eat. I just have probably mentioned that I'm not gluten free. I'm on a low oxalate diet, but lots of things that have oxalate just so happen to also have gluten. So I have to eat lots of gluten free things now. But I'm not gluten free. So this is my prepackaged lunch, some fish and some broccoli and cheese. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm gonna be eating when I go to work, hey, I got a job. But anyway, <laughs> so this is my lunch and I'm telling you now because I'm not gonna be vlogging at my job. Hi, it's Des. Um, I sound so drained right now. Oh wait, uh, light. 
Um, so, I want to film like a sit down part of this video to talk about what diet I'm actually on and why I'm doing the diet. So, um, earlier in the video I mentioned that I have to start a new diet um, due to health problems. I believe I said that in the earlier video. I'm not too sure. I have terrible memory. Um, so I am, I also mentioned that I'm not gluten free, which is not what I'm doing. I am on the low oxalate diet and basically there are lots of foods with oxalate in them, including wheat and lots of vegetables. Um, and so now I have to avoid all the foods that have high concentrates of oxalate. Now, um, basically I recently was diagnosed with um, a um, very specific chronic pain condition that is kind of personal, so I'm probably not going to say it um, in this video, but um, the low oxalate diet is supposed to help me with this chronic pain condition. That is also very rare, meaning that there is no cure and there's not that much research on it. Um, so this is one of the treatments and so I have to eat this low oxalate diet for a month and if it helps me with my chronic pain then I will probably be eating, I don't know why I keep saying probably, I, if this does work I will be eating a um, less strict version of the low oxalate diet which means I will be eating foods that are high in oxalate but in moderation um, instead of just cutting them out of my diet completely but I'm cold turkeying them right now just to see if it does work um, so yeah um, I should probably mention that I have been experiencing symptoms of this chronic pain condition for literal years <laughs> I like for like since I was probably like six or seven honestly um and know what you're thinking why didn't you tell your mom beforehand so the doctor can diagnose you before um hi my name is Desiree I'm a hypochondriac um I experience lots of pain all the time that well love pain um but because I'm a hypochondriac I always think there's something wrong with me and with that being said most of my time like experiencing the pain I was just like I'm probably being a hypochondriac there's probably nothing wrong with me like because there will be times where I'll be like oh mom I feel like my arm hurts and then we go to the doctor there's nothing wrong with my arm and the doctor's like mm -hmm, there's literally nothing wrong with your arm um and so I just got used to being in pain um and when I say being in pain I being in pain I should probably say that it's not 24 7 every waking moment I am in pain but it is like an everyday thing um it usually depends on the position I'm in or what I'm doing in that moment that could cause pain or sometimes I can just be doing nothing and I'm in pain um so the reason why I didn't tell my mom years earlier is because I was just like I'm being a hypochondriac whatever I brushed it off and then eventually I just got used to living in pain and just recently I told my mom that this was a problem for years because I got sick of it and I got sick of living in pain and I know you're probably like why is a 16 year old talking about having chronic pain but you know whatever um <laughs> that's my life now so now that it's diagnosed and I know all these years I wasn't over dramatic and I actually had there was actually something wrong um so yeah, I, I, this is literally day two on the low oxalate diet and I'm already like, this sucks. Um, all my favorite foods I can't eat, um, like cereal or like any sweets, y'all know, I'm a sweet person. I can't have any sweets. Well, I can, I should, I can have sweets, but they have to have no wheat, no rye, no soy, and also no chocolate or cocoa. Um, you know it's just a lot it's a lot and you don't realize how many things have like wheat or like soy or like rye in them until you can't have it anymore and suddenly everything you love you can't eat uh with this low oxalate diet um i'm going to read the list of things that i cannot wait it's on a paper i'll get the paper okay so this is the list of things i'm 
not allowed to eat. I'm gonna speed this up so it's less time in the video, but like... <coughs> That is all the foods that are either high in oxalates or have a moderate amount of oxalates that I probably shouldn't eat. And so, I today I spent a lot of my time eating protein. I ate eggs and sausage for breakfast. Uh, for lunch I had fish and I probably shouldn't have had broccoli. After re reading that list, broccoli was one of the moderate oxalate things that I shouldn't eat. Um, and for dinner I have no idea what I'm going to eat. And the thing is like, I love food <laughs> so much, like food is like one of my comfort things, um, when I'm sad I eat food, <laughs> which isn't healthy, but like come on. I used to like look forward to being like, oh my gosh I can't wait till it's breakfast so I can eat cereal, oh my gosh I can't wait till it's lunch so I can eat some pizza, I can't wait till it's dinner so I can eat some steak, you know what I mean? Which I can't have steak, um, I can't have cereal though unless it's Honey Nut Cheerios or any other Cheerios for that matter because it doesn't have wheat or rye in it, A, um, because Cheerios are made out of oats, so I can have Cheerios. I don't want Cheerios, I want Frosted Flakes, I can't have Frosted Flakes, there's wheat in them, I'm sad. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm sad about it. Um, my mom told me yesterday, I cried. Um, things that I'm probably gonna miss the most, and I'm talking about this if this, this is a forever thing, we don't know yet. Um, but I also should say that if this diet doesn't work, then there's the, from my knowledge, the other treatments are more extreme and they involve like surgery and like pills and like medications and stuff. And, uh, so, um, yeah, but, so if I am on this diet, things that I will miss is black tea, um, I love drinking tea, um, <laughs> I love the tea, sister, A, um, hot chocolate, um, I'm going to miss wheat, I never realized how much I loved bread until I can't have it anymore, um, which I can't have bread, it just has to be, like, gluten-free like no anything um i'm gonna miss eating regular cakes and pre-packaged sweets that i can't have anymore so if i did want a sweet i have to either go through extensive um research to eat it or make it myself um so i will be baking a lot Please expect some baking videos. I have one in my head right now. I'm so ready to make it. Jesus. Hopefully it turns out good and not like trash. Um, I'm gonna miss potatoes. Y'all know I, I love potatoes. I love baked potatoes. Can't have it. Love french fries. Can't have it. <laughs> love potato chips. Can't have it. Um, which I know for someone like they're maybe like this is so stupid. Like why are you talking about how this is hard? It's just a diet. But like food means so much to me um, and like eating out is gonna be difficult like like fast food who I don't know her because I can't eat it anymore you know it, it just sucks like you know I, I will never be able to be hungry when I'm out of bound and be, just pick up something like no I have to like bring some food with me or like go home um, because like eating out is like not a thing anymore like that's not a thing that doesn't exist you make your own food <laughs> Yeah, I will be also making a video about my experience with this chronic pain condition that I've had for years that I just got recently diagnosed with, explaining how that's like to act as a normal teenager experiencing pain. Um, honestly, it's it's not that hard. I'm not even going to be, uh, I mean, you know, it's not that hard. Um, once you get used to being in pain, it's not that hard. <laughs> I'm being really cynical. I'm in a really cynical and like sarcastic like mood. Can you tell I'm bitter? Um, because I am. I'm I'm angry. 
So yeah, that is my experience so far. I have no idea what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I have no idea what I'm gonna eat for breakfast, which is another thing. I'm the type of person that I like to know things, I like to plan things, and the fact that I, and I also love routine, the fact that I don't know what I'm gonna eat for dinner today or for breakfast tomorrow is like shaking me and I don't like it. It's a win-win either way. Like if the diet works, I won't be in pain anymore. And if it doesn't work, I can eat whatever I want. Okay, I'm just rambling at this point. But uh, yeah, that's that. How you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. I lied, I'm dying inside.